the adult guys, man, we got to understand that the LGBTQ folks, they're losing support. Again, Douglas Murray, in a clip that I'm getting ready to show you, he even says that gay marriage is losing support here in America. Again, the United States, they're losing support. Why? Well, I think it has something to do with all this LGBTQ plus whatever being shoved down our throats. Again, we don't care. Most people don't care if you're gay. They don't care. They don't care one single bit. Again, you want equal rights? You want to marry who you want to marry? Fine. Marry whoever. Again, two consenting adults, whatever. And it does not matter. But <laughs> we don't want to have pride flags hanging up at the schools, hanging up at the White House, hanging up at companies. Man, again, <laughs> pride events, pride nights at ball games. We don't want that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff, man, again, you're going to lose support. We don't want to see grown men and thongs dancing in front of kids. We don't want that kind of stuff. Again, that is perverted. And just because you're gay does not make your perversion okay. It doesn't. Again, <laughs> that is perverted. But it's going to lose support. You are going to see support slip if you're trying to Jam your lifestyle down the throats of everyone. Again, you're going to lose support. But hey guys, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks. I think, uh, to bring uh, Douglas back in, when you hear that teacher, there's clear evidence of what we've all yes. been fearing has been going on, which is a teacher caught on tape literally spewing nonsensical gender ideology propaganda. But one teacher. Yes, only right, one teacher. One teacher. Tens of thousands. Well, hang on. Um, one teacher caught on I tape, think, right? Yeah. There have been many other instances I... of this being reported, but no one's actually had it on tape. It's a bit like, I would liken it to the Partygate scandal when we finally got a video of the people having what was clearly a party. There have been lots of rumours about it. So now we have a teacher clearly on tape Doing this, but it's not official school so policy. I'll, if I may, Schools across the country. Well, she's still, to I'm my knowledge, this. she is still working at that school. Douglas. If I may, uh, first of all, uh, Ava rather um, unfortunately misspoke earlier when she said that the uh, schoolgirl in question was acting out of fallacy. I think you meant a fantasy. But actually, she is acting Thanks, out of fallacy. Douglas. Thanks, Douglas. A so fallacy. Much. But do you know a what I find fascinating? She was right with fallacy. Been, do you know what's fascinating about Douglas? A fallacy which has been propagated a fallacy which has been propagated by gender ideologues and is doing profound damage to gay people, among others, in our society, as well as women. Like and you let me ever explain cared. Very quick, let ever me cared. explain very quickly why. I can't quite hear you, but I can hear you muttering something. Let me quickly explain why. A poll that just got published in the United States showed that among the general population, support for gay marriage has been starting to decline in the last year. Why is that? It's because the arguments that actually brought about liberal rights for all minorities in the last few decades have started to get turned on their head and turned against people. What is the source of that? It is the gender ideology movement. What is the tripwire for the general public? It is children. It is people learning that their children are being taught nonsensical things. It is being seen by the wider public, most of whom are heterosexual and don't need to identify as cis or anything else. It is being seen from that vantage point as the LGBTQIA plus movement losing control of itself. And so a backlash is starting. And the backlash is coming because people are lying to children and are using children for medical experiments. There's nothing oh, funny ridiculous. about that. There's nothing that, that should cause levity in that. It should be treated by adults seriously. Okay. You know what, man? I fully agree. I fully agree with Douglas on this, man, because I believe that... Um, there is a backlash happening right now. Again, people, they're sick and tired of this gender identity 
No, it says being shoved down their throats. They're sick of going into stores and seeing all this LGBTQ types up. They're sick of rainbow flags in schools. They're sick of stuff. And again, we have to understand that, um, that you know, even five, ten years ago, people are more supportive of, hey, yeah, we got we got to have. Um, you know, again, if some, if they want pride rallies and whatever they pride events or, you know, fine, have that, have that in your area. Again, majority of people, they don't care. I don't care what people do that are different from myself. Don't care. Don't care one bit. Again, I am, I have always supported people having every every right everyone needs to have rights the same rights i don't care i do not care it's not my business what somebody else, who you are with i don't care so again be with who you want to be with but when you start making me and making my family you know again have pride flags on schools and you know having pride events pride month pride nights at ball games you know everything every everything now is gay and you know you want to have drag shows in front of kids with grown men in thongs and lingerie and you know twerking and on stripper poles and everything else you know and dancing around the cross you know Again, there is something wrong. There is something very wrong. And I think people, they are now saying, hey, you're going way too far. We have had it. Step back. Very on brand for you because, you know, you like to stoke fear. You've actually made a career out of it. We are, you know, I'll take you I, back to your book, The Strange Death Ava. of Europe. And you made a big fright. You know, you frightened the entire public about your thoughts on Europe. And we ended mm. up in Brexit. You weren't the sole contributor to that, but you yeah. were a big Can we voice stick in onto that. The I will. I will. And then, so you know, now we're quickly. talking about LGBTQ. If I may say so and you're very creating. Quickly, Hang on. You spoke. You spoke. Uh, I'm speaking. Well, uh, no, I'm speaking. I'll, I'll you spoke. reply. This is, a, I mean, and I'll reply. Hello. Let, I haven't let finished. Ava speak, please. Douglas. Now, back on the trans issue, when you're talking about LGBTQ, what you've just done there is basically say that the whole of America, who have historically had a problem with gay marriage, are now turning no. on it because a couple of children no. in a classroom in Sussex want to be a cat. No, if you can't no, see the no. ridiculousness in that argument, I can't help you. No. The bigger well, issue is all, there is no such thing Ava, as gender yes. ideology. We I all have gender identities. Them. You identify as a man. And I fully respect you. Well, no, no, hang on. I don't identify no. as a man. I was born a biological yes, male. Yes, yes. That's where this whole um, thing Piers, you need goes, to let me goes rogue. In. I'll bring you back in, Douglas, as I want to say. That's where the whole debate goes rogue. You were born a biological male. You were born a biological female. Douglas, biological male. The, this is just a fact. Right? No. Once you start saying there are hundreds of genders and you can identify as anything you want, no. you're going to end up with kids you... at school going, I'm a horse, and you've got to treat me like a horse. It appears you're confusing two things. No, I'm not. Sex and gender. I'm not. I accept... They are being conflated. But biological sex is one thing which I totally accept, and so do 99% of the people in the LGBT plus community. Gender is something different. Gender identity is how you see yourself. And, and do, you believe course... it's, do you believe it's limitless? No, I don't believe it's limitless. What's the limit? Well, there was basically male and female and intersex, but there are people who have different gender identities. No, but how many genders are there? Well, I, 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 there is no fixed number. So what's the limit? I don't see a particular limit. There's no uh, limit. So, uh, so I, when I, you said, there's no, you no, said there is a limit, I, now I, you admit there's no limit. No, sorry. Well, there, there is male and female. Is identity. there a limit or not there's to the number of genders? Identity. No, that's that's sex. But on but, gender, is there a limit to number of genders? Well, there are, there are some people who are asexual. That's an identity. No, no. There are some the BBC. People, the BBC has yeah. put in education videos. There are a hundred plus genders. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with so that. So, what is the limit? What's the number? Well, I'm not going to specify a particular number, but it's right. a ve it's very small. But where it's do you draw? Small. Where do you draw the line? Well, I draw the line based on science and evidence. And we know that there is a thing called intersex, mm. where people are born with a mixture of both That is male, literally what it says. Both... Man, I fully agree. I fully agree with peers on this. I do. Because, again, there's sex and there's gender, which are two terms, two words that are used, for the most part, 
used to be in new ways interchangeably. Again, sex and gender are basically the same thing. Again, gender identity is something else. That, again, you can identify as whatever you want to identify as. And, you know, how many different genders are there? Well, I don't know. <laughs> because, again, people can identify as whatever they want to identify as. I can identify as a uh, car. So, again, people, I can say my sexual identity is a black female. I can say that, but that's not true. That is not true. That is not who I am. But again, I can identify as whatever I want to identify as. But there, there again, people don't have to take me seriously. Because again, I am not what I claim to be. I'm not. And, and again, if I identify as a black female, I'm not what I claim to be. But Again, we know, we know that either you are born male or female. We, we understand that. We get that. And if you're born outside of that, if you're born with some kind of a condition, you are born intersex. And again, we also understand that's a very low percentage of the population, somewhere around 1%. That is where that is. I, I understand that some people say it's 1.7%. But let's say, man, some people say it's, you know, like 0.5%. But let's just go in the middle and say, one, you know, 1%. You son of a... You son of a... You son of a...